Hi, in this session, we will see how to implement a BTE in SAP. So our business comment is, in the PL file transaction code, which is a standard customer line item report, we want to add customer name at the line item level. Okay, so before we start in this, just have a look at what is BTE. A BTE stands for business transaction event and it is used for the enhancement in FI that is in finance model okay so for implementing a BTE the following steps are required the first point is to find a suitable BTE using transaction code FIBF then we have to create a function model by copy of a standard function model activate it add the required logic and test it First, we'll check for the BTE to meet our business requirement that is in APL fine, uh, APL fine at line item level to add a new field. So for that, go to transition code FIBF environment info system. Click on execute. So here you can see different event. Okay, and here is the description. So we have to find out by the description which event we can use. So for the FI line item, a commonly used event is that is 1650. If you look at the description here, line item display, add to data per line, and 40 is for the header. As a requirement is to add the customer name at line item level we can go for 1650 before this have a look at FBL fine transition code this is the FBL fine transition code screen layout here you can see the customer name is coming at the top but when you execute for the multiple customer okay and if you want to download the report that top name is not coming so that's why we want the customer name at the line item level Okay, so that we can easily download in the Excel and we can make the report. So if you check here in the layout, you will not found with the name one that is used for customer name. Okay, here is make it posting and then do there is no name one. So we'll add that field. Okay, now here in the FI, FIBF, select this and go to documentation. So you can see the documentation here like this function model is an interface description only and doesn't contain any instruction okay this will give the complete instruction about the function model okay this event is reached when displaying the line items so we can use this function model to meet our business requirement so we have to add our new field in this structure that is rfpos okay so this is uh, this is the function model description documentation if you want to the function model click on sample function model you can see the function model here this is the importing parameter and this is the exporting structure of type rfpos okay so now we'll see, uh, we'll see how to implement so the very first point is we have to add new field in the structure which is structure rfpos and rfposx okay for that go to sc11 enter rfpos here click on append structure create append give any name let's say for customer name the field name which we required is z name one we will use the standard data element that is of customer name save this in a package
check and activate it. Now we have done in the RF POS structure. Similarly, we have to add the same field in RF POSS structure. Okay, so once this is activated, go back, go back, enter RF POSX. Okay, click on display, go to append structure, click on create. And give any name will give here the f underscore cost x1 f5 customer name give the same name here also of same type save in the package activate it now once we have added the field in the shared structure, we have to run the program. Go to S38. This is the program name. Z RFPOSX extend. Just execute this program. This will adjust the structure. Okay, so here we are done with the first part. Now what we are done. We have final to PT for our requirement. Okay, now we have added our field using the append structure. Now we will create a function model. So before creating function model, we should have function group in the system. If we don't have function group, first create a function group. Now go to FIBF system. Okay, now. go to info system. Execute. Select our event that is 1650. Click on sample function model. Copy. Here give the required name which we want to create. We'll just add Z before that. And here we have to give our custom function group. If we don't have function group, first create that using the SCT transition code. Okay, I'm using my existing function group here and this is my function model. Okay, this is the function model which I have created. So this content I'm importing is structure as I underscore post tab and in the exporting it has E underscore post tab. Now if we look at this structure there is one field called Conto. This contains the account number of the customer. That is the customer number. So using this field from the KNA1 table, we have to select customer name. Now go to source code. Before this, add data gs underscore kna1 type kna1 okay now what we'll do if e underscore post tab contour that is customer number is not initial what we'll do select single all from KNA1 into corresponding field of G of KNA1 where Kunar equal to this account number that is nothing but the customer name. Okay, then what we have to do as we have added new field in this structure RFPOS. Okay, so simply name one equal to gs underscore kna1 name one so what we have done here we have selected the customer name from G kna1 table by passing the account number and that name one we have assigned 
to our new field in the structure okay so in this way we have activated the function model okay so here what we have done we have created a function model now we have to create a product and activate it okay so how to create a product again in the fibf transition code in the same transition code go to setting product select of a customer here give the new product name you can give as zf underscore cost give some description and don't forget to activate it okay if you're not activating it it will not work seven a request now what we have done we have finished with create of product and activate it now we have to process and publish bt with a combination of product id and function model okay bte id product and function model for that again in the same screen go to setting process and publish model of a customer here click on new entries now which event you want to implement that is 1650 which product we have created zf underscore customer which function model we have created z sample underscore interface underscore 1650 and maintain this combination seven request okay so in this way we have done with all the settings first we have added the new field in this structure then we have to run this program after that once you find out the serial body we have to create a function model by copy a uh, copy of the standard bte function model then we have created a product and then we have maintained a combination of bte id product and function model okay now just go for testing enter a bill find transition code execute it click on change layout sort in ascending order check if his name one is there here you can see name one okay earlier this was not there add it to a display field so you can see the customer name here okay so in this way we can add the new field in the fbl file layout not necessarily you can uh, we have to add name one as per your business requirement you can add any field in the same way just in the function module you have to write the logic accordingly so in this way we have done with the session of implementing of bte for the transition code fbl file thank you